Halo, Tanu. Hai, Lianti. Hai, Pras. Halo, Randi. Hai, FTH, BCR. Hai, Carvio. Hai, Bojana. Hai, Yunus. Hai, all. Hai, Dr. Muhammad Gasemi. Hai, Dr. Taha Yasin Syarikaya. Hai, Syaji. Hai, Dr. Amir. Hai, Dr. Regina from Moscow. I, I mean, Russia. Hai, Meli. Hai, Dr. Ali. Hai, Ketin. From Chile. Hola. Buenos dias. Halo, Dr. Ali Safar from Iran, maybe. Yeah. Hai, Payman Ramadan. Hai, Dr. Ahamad. Hai, Pawan. Hai, Yunus from Turkey. Hai, Klasik Kuailate from Thailand. Swadikap. Hai, Sarah. Hai, Dr. Sura. Hai, Siti Nazira. Hai, Omar Salih from Iraq. Hai, Shashi. Hai, Atika. Hai, Mada from Romania. Hai, Dasha Kaliada. Hai Ayah Alayobi. Hai Dr. Nul Sena. Hai Hai Nafshni from Malaysia. Hai Karfiu, Hai Abdel Rahma, Hai Mauricio, Hai Mundet from Malaysia. Hai Sura. Hai Dena, Hai Agil. Assalamualaikum, Waalaikumsalam. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Okay. So now I will turn off the comment. So I want to make sure my video clear. Okay, I will turn off. And maybe uh, yesterday, two two days pa pass. I already try uh, lay, uh, show it to all of you guys how to layering interior with a simple case here with the only with two shade guide. So today I will show you how to layering a uh, posterior posterior uh, upper <clears throat> so uh, this is uh, a case upper okay you can see um, yeah for all of you upper is not easy right for for real in real in real case okay in reality the, the upper is complicated as you can see this is the real anatomy okay so we need to copy that to be the same like the 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 this case okay but as you can see uh, posterior it's uh, you, you need to you need to understand you need to learn how to create a a cups yeah see this is like a h you know this is h phone edge and then like this there's no plus like this okay not like a lower for first molar lower have a uh, five cups but for uh, upper you have a uh, one two three four cups this is the biggest cups on the palatal um, nasio and this is a small cups it's for, uh, distal palatal and this is distal buckle and this is mesial buckle so you need to learn how to create a good anatomy by practice in your home maybe you can carving soap you can uh, drawing whatever you like just train your hand because you're still in self-quarantine so do it your time to do something uh, to do something good and learn from your um, your works yeah your, your 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 training maybe okay so today i will share you how to deal with uh, this case first you need to know the, the the design of preparation okay this tooth is already designed yeah already prep okay you can see like this with the case it's a misio and this toe it's gone maybe this is mod yeah mod is the not easy case not easy case not easy case for daily practice because you need to to build you need to build the the cups 
you need to build the wall the mesial wall and then the distal wall and then after that you have a class one situation that's that's the point of the class two the class two it's how to build the good mesial wall have a good contact also and then distal wall with the good contact so today i will show you with two type of uh, technique matrixing so all i have to do is how to choose the good matrix okay for me for me yeah there is no uh, good matrix in the world yeah it depends okay it depends for, for me i always use the sectional matrix like this okay same like the anterior okay like this sectional matrix so what i want to put in my in my restoration like this so i always i always put this area in the cervical okay in the in the margin and this one it's on the top of the occlusal so i put it like this okay this is for example okay so like this not 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 like this okay this is a, a wrong a wrong way okay so uh i have many questions for you for, for for posterior if you have a deep cavity like a sub gingival situation yeah, you so you need to yeah maybe you need to give some retraction cord or you need to crown lengthening to see the real uh, cavity the real uh, margin i think yeah you need uh you need to give some extra periodontal management okay so uh, if you have a deep cavity yeah maybe you need to know how to blood control yeah so i re i really recommend you to build up first with um gingival cords plus a hemostat agent to stop the bleeding and then you can try put the matrix okay so today uh i will share share to you yeah how to put this uh, matrix okay so you know uh with cl class two needs some weights okay so i have a i have a this weight this is from a uh, bioclear bioclear weight okay so how to choose the good uh weight okay it depends the 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 size okay it depends how big the diastema how big the the gaps so if you feel like this yeah i pull like this okay just you can see that the contact in here it's already good i think because my instruments cannot allow to go to the through the gingiva okay the wrong size is if you put too big okay this is a large size okay so you push like this okay this is make the gingiva it's like you know sometimes the gingiva the gingiva it's still harm it is because you pushed so so deep for this witch so i not using like so big weights like this because all my case some um, if you uh, all my case i only use this one okay this is the medium size if you feel uh they have a uh, gaps in here so you can put some teflon tape yeah, teflon tape and then make a circle because i don't have a secret teflon tape right now so you can make a circle yeah and then put teflon tape and then you can go again yeah with the teflon tape plus wedges i i really recommend you like that then you choose the so big big uh, wedge okay that's not good for the gums okay or your patient maybe still uh, have a hurt after it after treatment so uh what else okay if you have a mod situation maybe what's the best matrix that you need to put to the you need to choose uh you can see this is i have a a pro matrix pro matrix it's from i don't know it's from where by aztec innovation this is like a tovel matrix 
so I think this is a good way for you if you want to build MOD yeah like this so you can <coughs> you can put in here this is wrong okay because this is the palatal area so you need to put on the buckle area like this okay so this is not a uh, original i think this is not like a uh, toffelmeyer universal because they have shape a little bit uh, around it okay so if you tighten and then it will be have a good contact so i will uh, i will show you how to put in this matrix so you can make a big first okay and then you can bending like this okay so <coughs> you can try to put in here okay So, so I, I always do like this, yeah. If you feel the the matrix, okay, you can see, not stable, but you can push the, wait, you can push like this, yeah. Push until the matrix reach the the real gingiva. Okay, and then hold with the finger and then try to tighten first okay because if you're not tightening first maybe the matrix is not as uh, stable okay so this is not a stable situation so you need to you need to tighten first okay so i will push in here and then i will tighten like this i, I will zoom out Okay, now I will tighten. Wait, yeah, wait. Okay, let's go tighten. And this is this possible, okay? After using once and then you can you can throw to the trash, okay? Okay, you can see the gingiva still showing and you need to put weights after this okay so what weights we will to put in the measure i think the buckle is no need weights because they already have a, a, a tight contact in here but in here you can see the gum still showing okay so you need to uh yeah you need to put a wedge okay so i really recommend you to use this one which okay i always put on the buckle side like this oops sorry if you I, i'm not bring the tweezer or forcep okay now let's push okay you can see they have a steel gap yeah steel gap because the gingiva it's shown so what you should what will you do now okay i always Pushed again the matrix push again okay push again and then I will change the the weights okay because the weights not push the matrix so well because they have a see they have a gums appear in here so, or maybe you can choose a, a little bit a bigger size Okay, let's change. Let's change the the 
the witch so you need to use your magnification to check first yeah and then after you have a good contact adaptation so you can do edge and bone and then you can fill with your composite okay so let's uh change the weights because the size medium size is not good the contact in here so i need to change a little bit bigger okay so let's see okay i re i really recommend you to use a rubber dam because with a rubber dam it's very good to see you have a fission during a restoration and also there is no blood yeah there is no uh, saliva and it's very nice for isolation okay so let's check the margin okay this is a uh, better see very tight contact okay okay they have they no gaps see and this one also we don't need add uh, any kind of which because they already have a good contact so why i choose the the why i always choose the 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 small size than the bigger size because i love using the small size to keep the periodontal is not so under pressure with the the weights okay because you know after post-op situation maybe your patients have a still sensitive with their tooth because yeah they have a big cavity and or and class two okay so you need to give them information if you after post-op feeling class two maybe you can give some medicines yeah maybe you can give some analgetic okay and also uh for me yeah i always do class two uh, with local injection okay local anesthesia i mean so i i i will anesthesia for example i will i will infiltration in here okay in here i infiltration buckle in here and then palatal in here and then yeah you can do restoration under local anesthesia okay so uh, i will show you how after after this what what is your the next treatment the next step i mean so you need to edge and bone okay i don't have a edge and bone right now and you need to check the contact this one okay and this one okay and then you can see the margin yeah you need to make sure they have a good uh, contact yeah so you can uh, massage like this yeah? sometimes you need uh, you need to bending like this okay to make sure your your um, contacts it's have a tight tight contact so you need to massage like this okay so what's uh, next i always put my my flowable composite okay any kind of uh, flowable so you can use bulk fill you can use everything so i put flowable only in the floor yeah the base in here just a little okay no need to bulk fill okay just just a little okay so flowable for me uh, it's only for a base okay and then before you want to cure yeah, you need to spread well okay make sure they spread well to the base okay and you can do it at the same time okay 
Michel and Distal. If you using sectional, I really not not good situation because you have uh, put you need to put a ring, you know. I don't like a ring. I don't like ring. See? Why? Because using ring sometimes they will bending your matrix sometimes the ring is not stable that's a lot of problem with that so i love using like this uh, technique okay because this I, I love the simple things okay so after this we need to build the measure wall okay very very thin measure wall, wall why why because if you have a thin measure wall so you have a good space for dentin area okay in here area if you make a wall measure wall i mean so i mean so thick maybe you build like this so there's no room for uh, dentin so after you put the flowable so you can change into the packable so i use uh, enamel color okay like this so this is original uh, original i'm not i mean original is i'm not heating yeah i'm just use, using palfic tokuyama the color is a2 okay so this is not a heat heating composite so many question all of you maybe dr Gria, you you need to heat your heat i mean uh make it uh hot your composite i the answer is no i'm, I'm not using heater so let's push into the measure yeah so you need to push well make it homogen make it thin as possible with this instrument okay this instrument is the gray one uh, this is not the original lmrt this is copycat but this is nice why because this is cheap than lmr i love i love cheap things so yeah i i i i love to choose the, the cheap instrument then i need to spend a lot of money so you need to push until they have a extent okay kalau bahasa indonesia itu sampai muntah gitu loh so after this you can see from this side oh a lot of access there okay a lot of access so high point so yeah that's that's my uh, that's my uh, yeah I, i i love to because i after i have an extension like this I always remove like this see and then push again I love ex I love put extend yeah why because extend it means you have a good adaptation jadi kalau kalau padat gini dok ya uh, maybe I I a bilingual okay because I, I'm from Indonesia so dokter kalau padat gini ya dok padat muntah gini dok ya tuh nanti dia akan homogen okay see as thin as possible and don't so don't too high yeah oh it's too high so you need to remove again again and again with your uh, uh, spatula This is plastic instrument, okay. And see again, see, see. They already thin and smooth, yeah. So this is my my way how to sh make a good contact and good shape, okay. See, they have a thin, very thin. Okay, why? Because we need to 
add here for dentin color otherwise your composite it will be like yeah grayish okay because too much uh, enamel so i i love to using my micro brush to make it smooth and i love to add my micro brush not bonding but this is a modeling liquid modeling liquid to model composite material it is from gc japan i really recommend you to do to use this for your uh, brush for your micro brush to make it smooth yeah easy to sculpting okay don't too much yeah okay just a little and then yeah you can make a smooth again with a uh, brush okay i love brush because it's very easy to handling the composite okay make sure everything it's smooth oh i have a hair again in it sorry this is not okay now then so you can use also the 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 brush like this yeah make it smooth and around it okay like this see from this side okay don't too hide i mean don't put your composite on the top of the matrix like in in here okay this is wrong so just following in here follow this this one okay okay you can make it rounded with your spatula like this okay make it rounded okay make it smooth and rounded sorry i'm shaking because i am a tremor see and now if you want to make a smooth again yeah you can use a brush again here you know doing aesthetics it's not easy yeah maybe uh, you need to you need the time so uh for me uh, if you already pro uh, maybe you can make a faster aesthetic and fast this is our goal okay now i will cure so when you want to cure sometimes i'm doing like this yeah, sometimes yeah sometimes i pushed if you have a good if you want to make a, sh a good contact so i i i've pushed with my spatula okay like this i need my assistant wait <laughs> so sometimes i'm doing like this okay you go go yeah okay to make sure to make sure you're i doing like this push like this okay and then now let's do in this side okay okay now this side okay i need to add more okay about about the color about the color yeah yeah, yeah. i know the color is not matching yeah because this is acrylic and this is composite yeah you can you cannot match very well but if in the real tooth in the real patient it will be match 100 percent Okay, just push like this, push, 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 make it thin. 
Okay, make it thin like this. You can see they have an uh, excess in here. So you can um, round it. Yeah, you can round it like this. Okay, make sure the same with this. Okay, you round it, round it. See? And then make it smooth again with a micro brush. I love a uh, micro brush so much. See? And now you can remove again the excess. If you feel like, oh, maybe I have a lashes in here, so you can make it rounded. Yeah, round, 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 just round it like this. Don't too high, okay? Okay, so uh, the last is a brush. Okay, why with brush? Because brush it's pointed, so you, they can make a sharp, yeah, like this, yeah. So you can make smooth. Okay, but sometimes if you feel like oh too much push, so you can re-push. Okay. Put back like that. Push back again. Back, 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 back. Okay. Now I will cure again. Don't wrong. So sometimes, yeah. If you want to make a good a contact. You can you can try like this. Yeah, try try push like this. Go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we have a class one situation. Yeah. So after this, yeah, you can remove. Uh, the the remove the matrix remove the wage see you have a uh, like this situation yeah it's okay this is gonna be I will I will finishing this side see I will finishing with a uh, soft flex okay you know soft flex with disc it's very easy for you to like this yeah thread 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 and this one again thread 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 this side again prep 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 this one again prep 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 okay later later so now you don't need to do that see the contact See, I'm not lying to you. Okay. This one, this one, I will, I will finishing. Okay, you can, you can, you can use blade also, blade, remove this one. This one, okay. Got it? Okay, what's next? Okay, next. You have a class one situation, okay? It's class one situation, so it's easy for you. Yeah, you can use flowable, flowable again. Flowable, it's for only for a base, okay? I love flowable because for me, flowable is make it a fast, okay? So don't forget to use your your instrument to make sure there is no bubble. Mm. 
eh sorry sorry <laughs> so little terap terap out you can use your instrument to avoid the bubble okay this is important yeah to avoid the bubble so you need to use the sharp instrument and make sure they already covered all the surface and then you can cure again so i will use the dentin color okay if you have a deep cavity so posterior you need to add dentin color why dentin color because dentin color it will uh, covering all the discolorization situation if you have a amalgam discolorization if you have a uh, affected dentin with brown color situation that you want to that you don't have to prep again so the answer it's using dentin color so i use uh Ina HRI, Ina HRI, it's from Italy. So I I love using UD six. Yeah, I bring only UD three because I just have only this color. But in posterior, mostly my case only using UD six or A six. Yeah, UD six it means high chroma dentin high chroma dentin it's like a yellow situation okay so this is the dentin so just push like this yeah i will show you the secret when you stop uh, at the dentin okay so mostly if you already build cups all good and then after you remove the rubber dam and then after you want to adjustment and then you will see oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh my god my my uh, restoration so high and then i will remove again prep 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 and then it will sh it will uh yeah it will uh flat again so that's not good situation because when you put dentin color it's too high yeah too high so all you have to do is measure measure your dentin color only only two millimeters two millimeters from the top of the occlusal so i, I will show you now wait yeah so this is too too much so you need to uh remove the excess so usually dentin color uh yeah you you can do with the uh, one layer and then you can put on one layer again so you don't need to put like this yeah one bulky and then go uh covering the all yeah you can put cups by cups yeah you can do that but it takes time for you to put like that so let's uh now let's see uh, you can see from here okay from here see from here now uh, it's very clear okay so if you if you this is the top of the occlusal okay so you need to measure that the top of occlusal under the dentin is two millimeters so you can use prop you can use prop maybe uh maybe i don't know i don't bring my prop if you use prop like this and you have a two line two line and then two line two line it means two millimeters so if you build the dentin in here it means it's already too high so that's gonna be wrong okay so you need to measure from this side how you can measure with this side? yeah you can use a um, round or mirror you can use mirror you can use uh, uh, magnification you can use dental photography so you need to measure two millimeter from this into the bottom 
two millimeter from top of occlusal into the bottom. How you, if you don't have prop? Okay, if you don't have prop, you can use your micro brush. Okay, this is your micro brush. If you have a uh, all micro brush surface already, one micro brush bullet, bullet eh, one micro brush like this, one and then one and then one, two. Jadi dia udah langsung. Jadi kalau satu bola ini round that all micro brush already put inside in here ya. Yeah, jadi satu udah dua mili nih, dua mili, dua mili, two mili. Oke okay, ya, ngerti ya? Mudah-mudahan ngerti lah. Oke, okay. so from this side, from this side, you cannot, you cannot see, you cannot see the high level, oke? Okay? You cannot see the high level. If you do upper uh, molar restoration for posterior, you can see only with your uh, mirror. So that's why I really recommend you to use your magnification to use your uh, microscope maybe or your loop to see clearly okay uh, i will make a flat yeah because this is not still still rough okay so i need to make it smooth with micro brush okay So check again from here, here, and here. See. So you need to know this is the top occlusal, and you have two millimeters area. Two millimeters, two millimeters, two millimeters. Okay, I I, I think you already understand lah. Got it, yeah. Got it, yeah. So now, if you want to make a a map if you want to make a map why why mapping because mapping it's like uh, easy for you to follow the line to create a cups by cups if you in hurry maybe you, you don't need to create a line it's okay but sometimes we need to to create a line for guiding okay so with sharp instrument like this so you can Stabbing like this, yeah. Step, step like this. Okay, this is gonna be the distal. Okay. Okay, this is the distal, and you can see the this line. Okay, this line is not plus, yeah. Plus, it's wrong. A little bit like this, hey, like this, nih. See, this is not plus. Okay, so push like this, like this. Okay, and then. This is the I have a line in here. Yeah, you can stabbing slowly, yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, you can create again because Usually I'm using my file, okay? We did the sharp instrument doing like this, okay? And this is another line, okay? Like you can push like this. I think the compass is already Set up. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, there. Yeah.
if you feel like uh, there's too much gaps yeah so you need to make it uh, closer like this yeah okay so now let's uh, cure and then you can add uh yeah you can add a stain or yeah for make it uh lines yeah for make it uh guidance because flowable it's a flow stain like this okay uh okay this is from ivoclar ivoclar like like this I already impressed direct color this is a uh, brown color okay so put it uh don't too much yeah i'm afraid too much is a little bit dirty just slightly like this okay oops okay this is dirty yes okay this is dirty but you need to yeah, make it smooth with your instrument if you don't want to use uh, this stain it's okay but you need to tell to your patient yeah if your patient it's uh, not agree with you yeah you need to remove this uh, stain because stain it looks like uh yeah the you have a still have a brown situation yeah, in the fissure so that's not good for your patient if it's bah, uh, bahkan ya pasiennya kadang, -kadang mikirnya ini belum ditambal itu don't so don't too bold yeah i mean just a little don't too much so many question how to swap your how to clean the brush so you can use alcohol swap okay alcohol swap alcohol swap just with alcohol swap okay okay now like here okay so guys uh they are this is already 45 minutes so i will end it now and then i will continue again because yeah it needs i need to end because i want to shave save my my video okay i will end and then i will relive okay stay tuned